Hello friends. Under this code igniter for CRUD tutorial services, we will learn how can we update or edit MySQL table data from this code igniter for framework application. For update or edit MySQL table data, under this tutorial, we will first edit button for each row of data, and then after we want to fetch single row of data in form, and then after that form data will be submitted for update data in MySQL table. So for make edit button, we have go to crudview.php file, and here in fifth table column, we have write anchor tag, with ref is equal to, base url function. And after this function, we have write crud controller name, after this we have write slash and then after, we have write fetch single data, and then after, we have write dollar user id variable, so it will make edit data link for each of data. Next we have go to crud controller, and here we have make fetch single data method, with dollar id variable as argument. Under this method, we have write dollar crud model variable is equal to new crud model class, so here we have create object of this model class. Below this, we have write dollar data user data variable is equal to dollar crud model variable with where method with two argument. In first argument, we have write id, and in second argument, we have write dollar id variable so this method will add where condition in query after this we have write first method so this method will return first row of the result set which has been stored in dollar data user data variable below this we have write return statement and after this we have write view method with two argument in first argument we have write view file name edit data, and in second argument, we have write dollar data variable, so it will load content of this file in browser. Now we want to create new view file, so here we have right click on this views folder, and create blank file, so here new blank file has been open. After this, we have go to add data.php file, and here we have copy whole source code, and paste it into edit data.php file, so here our file is ready, we have just make some minor changes. So first we want to change this card header text from, add data to edit data. After this, we have go to form tag action attribute, and here in base url function, we have write edit validation, in place of add validation, so this form data will be submitted to edit validation method of crud controller. For display value of name input field, here we have write value is equal to, php echo statement with dollar user data name variable. Same way for display data in email input field, here we have write value is equal to php echo statement with dollar user data email variable. And for gender field data, here we have in mail option, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar user data gender variable value is equal to mail then this option will be selected. And if dollar user data gender variable value is equal to female, then female option will be selected under this gender select box.
Under this form, we have add one input type is equal to hidden file, with name is equal to id, and value is equal to php echo statement, with dollar user data id variable, this variable value, we will use for update data. And lastly, under submit button, we have changed text add to edit, because this is update data form, so here our form is ready for load single user data. So friends, first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see user data in HTML table, and in each row of table, we can see edit button has been appear. Now we have click on this row edit button, then page has redirect to another page, and on this page, we can see form has been filled with user data, now we have proceed for update data. So we have go to CRUD controller, and here we have make edit validation method, this method will received edit form data request. Under this method, we have write helper function, and under this function, we have write form, and URL in array format. This function will load code igniter for form, and URL helper under this method. After this, we have write dollar error variable is equal to, dollar this, with validate method. This method will performing validation on input data. Under this method, we can define validation rules in array format. So in first key, we have write input name data, and in validation rules, we have write required, and minimum length 3, so here we have defined these two rules, that means this field data is required with minimum length 3. In second key, we have write, input email field, and in validation rules, we have write required, and valid email, so this field data is required, and that data must be valid email address. For validated gender data, in third key, we have write gender, and in validation rules, we have write required, so gender field data is required for insert data into MySQL table. After define validation rules, now we want to check data has been passed from this validation rules or not, so for this here, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write not operator with dollar error variable. This condition will check, this variable has some data or not, if this variable has some data, then it will execute if block of code, and data is not passed in validation rules and it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write echo statement, with view method with two argument, in first argument, we have write edit data view file name, and in second argument, we have write error key, with dollar this with validator. So it will again load content of edit data.php view file, with display validation error message on web page, and validation error we have already defined. Now, we have again go to edit validation method of CRUD controller, and here we have write dollar CRUD model variable is equal to, new CRUD model class. Below this, we have write dollar id variable is equal to dollar this variable with request object with get variable method and under this we have write id so id hidden field data has been stored under this dollar id variable after this we have write dollar data variable is equal to array under this array we will store other form field data so in first key we have write name, and in value, we have write dollar this, with request object, with get variable method, and under this, we have write name, 
So here we have define name input field value. For define email input field data, so in second key, we have write email, and in value, we have write dollar this, with request object, with get variable method, and under this, we have write email. For define gender select box data, so in third key, we have write gender, and in value, we have write dollar this, with request object, with get variable method, and under this, we have write gender. So this way, we have defined form data, under this dollar data variable. Now we have write dollar crud model variable, with update method with two argument, in first argument, we have write id variable, and in second argument, we have write dollar data variable, so this method will update data in mysql user table. After this, we want to display success message on web page, so in Codeigniter 4 framework, we will use flash message, which has been stored in session. So for initialize session library, we have write dollar session variable is equal to slash config folder slash services class with session method. After initialize session library, now we want to store message in flash data. So here we have write dollar session variable with set flash data method with two argument. In first argument, we have flash data name success and in second argument, we have write message like user data updated. Next, we want to redirect page, to list of user data page, so here we have write return statement, with dollar this variable with, response object, with redirect method. And under this method, we have write site URL function, and under this function, we have write slash crud, so it will redirect page to crud controller index method. And on this page, we have already write code for display success message, at the time of insert data tutorial. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have go crud controller index method. And here we can see user table data has been displayed on web page in HTML table format. And in each row of data, we can see edit button. Now we want to edit this row of data. So here we have click on this row edit button. And after click on edit button, we can see that row user data has been open in new page in form format. And here we can see form has been filled with data. And at the last of form we can see edit button. So, we make some required changes, and then after we have click on edit button, after click on edit button, here we can see that success message on web page, and here we can see edited data in HTML table, so this way we can edit data in code igniter for framework. So in this part, we have learned how to edit or update MySQL table data, under this Codeigniter 4 framework, and in next part, we will learn how to delete or remove data from MySQL table, under this Codeigniter 4 framework. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box, if you have liked this video, please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also, and lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials.